Hello there and welcome to the series of videos that's going through the content of A-level maths. Here we're working on areas of triangles so we can answer questions from exercise 9D. So we've previously seen the formula for the area of a triangle as a half base times height. But can we create a new formula based on uh, these sides here, A, B and C? So start off with your half base times height and you may have seen this GCSE. The way that we could write the height by using this side of the right angle triangle here is going to be using a sine uh, angle it's going to be the hypotenuse times sine of C so H here the height of the triangle can be used as B times sine C so substituting this into the area of a triangle and we get a new formula and that new formula you may have seen it at GCSE is half AB sine C. So that's to say that for any triangle, if you know an angle in that triangle and the value on two of the sides, you can work out the area of that triangle using this formula here. You would use this angle here as C, this side here as A, and this side here as B. Okay, so we don't necessarily now need to know the perpendicular of the triangle just two sides and it's in between angle. So the first question here is calculate the uh, area of this triangle here and this is just a real simple case of substitution. Make sure you label up your diagram properly. The angle has to be called C because C is the only angle inside this formula and we get a final answer here of 14 centimeters squared to two significant figures. So real simple there, just substitute the numbers into the formula. OK, a little more, bit more of a problem-solving type question here. The area of a triangle uh, on the right is 60 centimetres squared. So we know the area is 60. Show that x squared minus 3x minus 240 equals 0. So what we need to do here is call this angle here C, A and B and substitute it into the formula and set the answer to that substitution in the formula equal to 60. And now we just need to expand some of the brackets, simplify sine of 30 to a half, and double it onto the other side <coughs> to get our 240, and then expand the brackets and simplify. So we get 0 equals x squared minus 3x minus 240. Okay, so we can sometimes substitute algebra into this formula here, um, and give an answer as uh, the area as well. Right, okay, your turn to have a go at this question here then. Pause the video and see how far you get. Right, okay, well done for having a go at this question then. Let's now draw out a little diagram so you can visualise what's going on. We have the length of B to C as X plus 2. We have A to C as the value X. And we have the angle BAC equal to 150. Now my diagram is not completely accurate here, that should be an angle that's way bigger than it actually is. Um, however, it's not particularly important just for the purposes of this question here. So we have an area of 5 centimetres squared. Uh, find the value of x, giving your answer to three significant figures. Now giving this answer to three significant figures, that's a bit of a clue that I'm going to get a decimal answer here. I would expect to be uh, a little bit confused if I was to get five out of this. Um, right, okay, so substitute the numbers into the formula. So 5 is equal to the area, which is equal to half times A, which is x plus 2, times B, which is x, times sine of 150. <clears throat> now, I know sine of 150 is 30. It's the same as sine of 30 because of that sine um, transformation. So that's going to be sine of 30, which is a half. So if I times through by 4, Four onto the other side because I've got a half here and a half here that gives me x squared plus 2x take the 20 onto the other side and we'll flip the uh, equation around and we get x squared plus 2x minus 20 so I can't factorize this so the way of solving this equation by factorization won't work so I'm going to have to now substitute the values into my formula so this is what I'm going to get substituting the values in and I get a final answer of 3.58 to 3 significant figures 
Uh, the other answer that I'd get with the negative here, this is my positive answer on this uh, square root bit. Uh, if I was to take it away, I'd get a negative answer, which I don't really want because I've got positive lengths of sides here. So my final answer here is just 3.58 centimetres. Right, so thanks very much for watching. Pause the video and have a go at uh, questions from exercise 9D. Remember, 10% of the learning is uh, from watching this video. If you want to get the rest of that 90%, make sure you have a go at some questions, persevere through the difficult ones, and ask your teacher if you need any help. Thanks for watching.